Once upon a time, there was a lovely princess, but she had an enchantment upon her of a fearful sort, which could only be broken by true love's first kiss. She was locked away in a castle, guarded by a terrible, fire-breathing dragon. Many brave knights had attempted to free her from this dreadful prison, but none prevailed. She waited in the dragon's keep, in the highest room of the tallest tower, for her true love and true love's first kiss. Like that's ever going to happen. What a loony. I think he's in here. Alright, let's get it. Hold on, do you know what that thing can do to you? Yeah, he'll groan into your bones for his brains. Well, actually, that would be a giant. Now, ogres, huh? They're much worse. They'll make a soup from your freshly peeled skin. They'll chew your livers and squeeze the jelly from your eyes. Actually, it's quite good on toast. Back, back, beast. Back. I warned you. Right, this is the part where you run away. Yeah, and stay out. Right, this one is full. Take it away. Give me that. Your five days are over. Twenty-five pieces of silver for the witch. Next, come on, sit down there, and be quiet. This cage is so small. You wouldn't turn me in. I'll never be stubborn again. I can change. Please give me another chance. Oh, shut up. Next, what do we got? This little wooden puppet. I'm not a puppet. I'm a real boy. Five shillings for the possessed toy. Take it away. No, please don't let them do it. Next, what do you got? Well, I've got a talking donkey, right? Well, that's good for ten shillings, if you can prove it. Oh, go ahead, fella. Well, he's just a, li just a little nervous. He's really quite a chatterbox. You bonehead donkey. That's it. I've heard enough. Guards? No, no, he talks. He does. I can talk. I love to talk. I've talked too. Get her out of my sight. No, no, I swear. Hey, I can fly. He can fly. He can fly. He can talk. That's right, fool. Now I'm a flying, talking donkey. You might have seen a house fly. Maybe even a super fly. But I bet you ain't never seen a donkey fly. Seize him. Get him. This way. Hurry. You there. Ogre. I, by the order of Lord Farquaad, I am authorized to place you both under arrest and transport you to designated resettlement facilities. Oh, really? You and what army? Can I say something to you? Listen, you were really, really something back there. Incredible. Are you talking to me? Yes, I was talking to you. Can I just tell you that you were really great back there with those guards? They thought that was all over there. And then you showed up, and bam! They were tripping on over themselves like babies in the woods. They really made me feel good to see that. Oh, that's great. Really? Man, it's good to be free. Now why don't you go celebrate your freedom with your own friends? But I, I don't have any friends. And I'm not going out there by myself. Hey, wait a minute. I have a great idea. I'll stick with you. You and me, a green fighting machine. Together, we'll scare the spit out of anybody that crosses us. Oh, that was really scary, if you don't mind me saying. If that don't work, your breath will certainly get the job done, because you definitely need some Tic Tacs or something, because your breath stinks. Man, you almost burned the hair out of my nose, just like the time that I ate some rotten berries. Man, I had some strong gases leaking out of my butt that day. Why are you following me? I'll tell you why, because I'm all alone. There's no one here besides me. My problems have all gone. There's no one to drive me. But you got to have free... Stop singing. Well, it's no wonder you don't have any friends. Wow, only a true friend would be that truly honest. Listen, little donkey, take a look at me. What am I? Uh, really tall? No, I'm an ogre. You know, grab your torch and pitchforks. Doesn't that bother you? Nope. Really? Really, really. Oh. Man, I like you. What's your name? Uh, Shrek. Shrek? But do you know what I like about you, Shrek? You've got that kind of I don't care what nobody thinks of me thing. I like that. I respect that, Shrek. You're all right. Uh, look at that. Who would want to live in that place like that? That would be my home. Oh, it is lovely. Just beautiful. You know you're quite the decorator. It's amazing what you did with such a modest budget. I like that boulder. That is a nice boulder. I guess you don't entertain much, do you? I like my privacy. You know, I do too. That's another thing we have in common. Like, I hate it when you got somebody in your face. You try to give them a hint and they won't leave, and then there's that big occurred silence, you know? Can I stay with you? What? Can I stay with you, please? Of course. Really? No. Please? I don't want to go back there. You don't know how it is to be concerned like a freak. Well, maybe you do. But that's why we have to stick together. You got to let me stay. Please? Please? Okay, okay. But only one night. Uh, what are you doing tonight? No. <laughs> this is going to be fun. We can stay up late, swap the manly stories, and in the morning, I'm making waffles. Where do I sleep? Outside. Oh, uh, I guess that's cool. You know, I don't know you, and you don't know me, so I guess outside.